Hello everyone and welcome to this animation on how to create and manage capture on the go templates within the Planet Press or Prez Connect designer module. So first off, let's go ahead and browse existing capture on the go templates that we've created to help you get started. So from the welcome screen, you click on browse template wizards. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll have all the capture on the go starter templates. Now these templates implement a couple of different capture on the go widgets in some standard or basic implementations that you might find interesting. The two unique ones would be the blank template, which doesn't contain any capture on the go widgets, but does start you off with the basic web template, the context, and the form is already set up. Whereas the kitchen sink is a complete representation of all the widgets that are currently available in the software. So let's start off right away by using the bill of lading template to show you one of the implementations that we think is great for capture on the go. Now, obviously we'll be taking a look at this submit URL and how to build it and how to know what it should be in the following animation, which is using the workflow automation module, because this is where it's going to matter. Of course, the other options here are more for personalization. So take a look at the documentation if you want more information on these specific features. So if you didn't know, a bill of lading is essentially normally a piece of paper that will print out in a warehouse and a warehouse employee will take that paper, go around the warehouse and pick up stuff that needs to be uh, put into a shipping or brought to a client. And they'll just put a check mark next to each of the items as they pick them up. So at the top, we have information about the order and then information on shipping, where it's coming from and where it's going to. So this is default for bill of ladings, invoices and shipping manifests and all of these. The most interesting part when it comes to capture on the go is the bottom. So here we have an example of a signature widget and the date widget. So you can see that the capture on the go widgets have a grayish background indicating that they're placeholders for the actual functionalities. When we view this template on the mobile device, and we'll, as we'll see in a few moments, these placeholders are replaced by the actual widgets. So the one that lets you sign with your finger with the touchscreen, as long as the date selector. And obviously all the, the rest of the elements before and after, so the check marks and the printed name and the email at the bottom, those are actually just standard HTML form elements. So it's nothing super special. And we're assuming that you have some knowledge of uh, HTML forms if you're at this point in your usage of Connect and Capture on the Go. So let's actually start off with a blank template and I'll show you how to build this template on your own. And you'll see it's pretty straightforward. So we are going to start off with one of the template wizards. And this is essentially just a shortcut because you could start off with a blank web template, add your own web context, add your own form. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just go ahead and make it easy on me. So here in the capture on the go starter templates, I'll just select the blank one. Now I'm not going to make a very fancy template here because the point is more capture on the go and not creating a form. So let me just add a couple of header information, which is the just your regular way of designing your template. And then I'm going to add the detail table since we have multiple items. Now take note that I will add this within the form. So where the form content placeholder is for reasons that will become obvious in a second. Okay. So let's take a look at what this document looks like before we add any of these specific form elements. Perfect. So we have all the header information and we have the dynamic table that lists all the items inside of the pick list that the warehouse employee will have to take within the warehouse. So now what we need to do is to give this employee the ability to first check all of the items as he picks them up inside the warehouse, B, give any notes um, and even take pictures if there's anything that's missing or damaged. And third, we'll give them a signature box so that the supervisor or somebody that is responsible can sign and confirm that all of the information is correct. 
Now, this could be removed completely. This could be signed by someone else. This can be whatever your, your needs for a specific implementation, obviously. So adding a check mark is actually a pretty simple affair. I'll go back to the design view and we'll need to simply add a new row to the table here and then add the check mark to it. So if we just right click, we go in column and we do insert after. We'll put in a title and we'll add in the form element. Any of the form elements that you want can be either accessed through the toolbar on top. So these buttons here that are at the top or through the insert menu. And then either form elements or capture on the go form elements. I'll just add a checkbox field and click OK. And that gives us our checkbox. Now, I'm not going to mess around too much with design and CSS here just to fix the box and make it, you know, a little bit bigger for fingers and everything, but you get the idea. And underneath that, we will add a box for taking notes. And the final thing we'll add is a date picker, which the employee can just check to confirm what the current date is, indicating when the pick list was completed. Okay, now it's not very pretty, I'll admit I'm not much of a designer, but it is a complete and functional capture on the go form. And then lastly, like I said, we'll be adding a picture. So again, we'll just go into the capture on the go elements and we'll add the camera widget. Now, some of the Capture on the Go widget have extra properties that you can pull in by right clicking on the placeholder and then going into the different options. So here we have camera properties and you have different options that you can put. So here we have either take and pick from the phone library. So the camera gallery or the pictures on the device, or we can limit it to either the gallery or taking a picture from the camera directly, which is what I'll select here. The allow annotation option is that when you have taken the picture, you can press on it again and actually circle or write annotations or do like different squiggly lines that will be added to the output. So if, for example, the employee finds that a box is damaged, they can circle the damaged area so that they can make it more clear on the output. You also have the different image formatting properties. So what if you want it as JPEG or PNG, or if you want different scaling options, AKA making it smaller before sending it to workflow. So now we have a complete form. It is a complete and functional capture on the go form. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can actually kind of preview this template uh, before actually sending it to the device. So the first thing is that in the workspace, you have an option to enable a responsive view. So if you click on the very last option in the toolbar on top of the workspace, you can select a different size. Now, these are entered as pixel. We will eventually indicate what type of device they are. Well, let's say I select 980 pixel. I'm not sure exactly what device that represents. What this will do is limit the size on the screen to what that device will see. If I choose a smaller one, this is what it would look like on a smaller device. Now, obviously, I didn't make this design responsive, so it would look ugly on a phone. Thankfully, I'm gonna demo this with a tablet. You can also see it as viewed by a browser by going into the live tab. And this actually passes the whole template through the browser engine. So it's the actual HTML that the browser would see. And you can see it in the external browser or your default system browser by using the preview HTML button in the toolbar. I won't show you this because it's going to look the same as this. Now note that when you do this preview, either in the browser or through the live, the snippets do not work. So you can't actually click on them and use them 
because the computer does not have the capabilities that the tablet has. In order to see how it's going to look like on a tablet or mobile device, we need to actually send it to that mobile device. Now this is done through the send to capture on the go dialog and this is in the toolbar right next to the preview HTML button. This dialog is fairly straightforward. What you need to put here is the repository ID and password which is the capture on the go server login which is provided to you when you get your license as well as recipient which is the email or uh, user group on the capture on the go server that will have access to this template and a category uh, which doesn't matter what you put in here for now uh, but if you want to use it in a specific category you'll write it here in the future. Let me just fill that in for a second. So now that it's filled in um, I will simply click on finish and this will send the document to the appropriate store ID and for the recipient that is the email I'm using for these demonstrations. Now when I click on finish I'm actually going to switch to the tablet view so that you can actually see what it looks like on the tablet when we start receiving those documents. So here we're just going to wait for a second and we, you can actually click the refresh button to see when it actually comes in. And here we go. This is the actual document that I just sent to the device. Now when we click on this we see a little bit more information and we can click on download and this will retrieve the document. Now for those of you who wonder, we're actually sending your uh, example document directly to the Capture on the Go server, so we're bypassing the whole workflow thing, specifically when you do send to Capture on the Go. Once the template is downloaded, it'll open automatically. So what the user would normally do, and I'm going to tap on the screen here, is to just check all of the different options for all the items that were properly received. As for the specific capture on the go elements, for example, the date picker, when we tap on it, it brings up the system date picker. So today is August 18th. Let's say today is obviously when I'm filling in the pick list. I can click on set and that enters the date. If I had extra note to put in, I could do that. So for the actual pictures, when you click on take now, that will obviously open the system camera. So if I take the picture, it shows me the preview, I just click on save. Now once our document is filled in, what we would do is click on the submit button at the bottom. Now when we are ready to send the form to the automation module, we need to first make sure that it's saved, and then we will be sending that via the file send to workflow dialog. Now this is it for the animation on how to create your first template. In the next animation we'll teach you how to automate the whole thing and how to process the data in the automation module. So see you in a few clicks.